An international team of astronomers has used more than 500 images from the Hubble Space Telescope, spanning two decades of observations, to search for evidence of an intermediate mass black hole. They've done this by following the motion of seven fast-moving stars in the innermost region of the globular star cluster Omega Centauri. Earlier research efforts had suggested the presence of a large invisible mass at the heart of the cluster, but these studies left open the possibility that the mass might consist of a central grouping of stellar mass black holes. The apparent lack of stars moving faster than the escape velocity of the cluster seemed to argue against the presence of a single massive object. Now that several such stellar speedsters have been found, the case for an intermediate mass black hole is suddenly much stronger. Omega Centauri is visible from Earth with the unaided eye and is one of the favourite celestial targets for stargazers living in the Southern Hemisphere. Located just above the plane of the Milky Way, the cluster appears almost as large as the full moon when seen from a dark rural area. It was first listed in Ptolemy's catalogue nearly 2,000 years ago as a single star. Edmund Halley of Halley's Comet fame reported it as a nebula in 1677. In the 1830s, the English astronomer John Herschel was the first to recognise it as a globular cluster. Hundreds of images amassed using Hubble over the past two decades have provided strong evidence that at the heart of the Omega Centauri cluster lies the nearest known massive black hole to Earth. Seven stars close to the heart of the cluster, home to about 10 million stars in total, are moving so fast that they should have escaped the cluster altogether by now unless they're being restrained by the gravity pull of a black hole estimated to be at least 8,200 times more massive than the Sun. At a distance of 17,700 light-years, Omega Centauri is closer to us than the centre of the Milky Way galaxy, which harbours a black hole of 4.3 million solar masses. Stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes are well known to astronomers and many examples have been identified. But intermediate mass black holes have proved to be much more elusive, and only a few other candidates have been found to date. Now astronomers will be hoping to learn more about these mysterious denizens of the cosmos. Among the questions to be answered, how do they form? How common are they? And do supermassive black holes grow from their medium-sized cousins?